ever left your house keys in the front door overnight? With crypto wallets, that's basically what most people do every day. Let's talk about how to stop making this expensive mistake. This is the second of six videos in our series. I'm Eva for Meme 5. Remember our Mt. Gox story from last time? That catastrophe happened because people kept their crypto in a hot wallet, constantly connected to the internet. It's like leaving your wallet on a park bench and hoping nobody takes it. So what exactly is a hot wallet? Think of it like your everyday spending money. It's super convenient, always ready for quick transfers, trading or shopping. Most people use them through mobile apps or exchange accounts. They're perfect for small amounts you need to access regularly. But here's the catch. Hot wallets are like a house with all its windows open. Sure, it's easy to get in and out, but so can anyone else if they try hard enough. Hackers love hot wallets because they're always online, making them perfect targets. That's where cold wallets come in. Imagine having a personal vault that only connects to the internet when you specifically allow it. That's a cold wallet. It might be less convenient, but it's like keeping your life savings in a bank vault instead of your back pocket. Let me share a quick story. Last year, a friend kept $50,000 worth of crypto in a hot wallet because it was more convenient. Guess what? One phishing link later and poof, all gone. Meanwhile, another friend with a cold wallet slept soundly through multiple exchange hacks. In our next video, we'll explore another crucial choice – custodial versus non-custodial wallets. It's all about who really controls your crypto. Hit subscribe and tap the notification bell to catch our next episode. Tell me in the comments. Are you using a hot or cold wallet for your crypto?